This is breaking news. For Brooklyn South Detectives, Inspector James King, the commanding officer of the 60th Precinct. Just as a reminder, the information that I'm going to give you is preliminary and subject to change, as this incident is only a few hours old. Earlier this morning, at about 1.40 a.m., officers from the 60th Precinct responded to an apartment at 3325 Neptune Avenue in response to a 911 call placed by a concerned family member who was at a different location. And the caller indicated that she was concerned that her family member may have harmed her three small children. Officers responded to that apartment. They received no answer to a knock on the door. And inside the building, they were met by an individual who identified himself to be the father of one of the children, who expressed similar concerns and said that he believed that the woman and the children were on the boardwalk here in Coney Island. The officers began along with other officers from the 60th Precinct, a search for the woman and her children. That involved canvassing the boardwalk, the beach, the streets of Coney Island, Coney Island Hospital, and her own apartment at 3325 Neptune Avenue, where the officers found the door unlocked. This search continued for approximately 90 minutes until the officers, in response to an additional 911 call, were directed to Brighton 6th, Brighton 6th Street and Regalman Boardwalk, which is approximately two miles down the boardwalk from where we are now. At that location, the officers found a 30-year-old female believed to be the mother of the three children. She was accompanied by other family members, but not the children. The search now intensified aviation units, harbor units, and additional canvases of the shoreline. At about 4.42 this morning, the officers discovered three children, a seven-year-old male, a four-year-old female, and another female was approximately three and a half months old on the shoreline here at the water's edge at West 35th Street uh, in Coney Island. The officers immediately initiated life-saving measures, including CPR, on the children, and they were rushed to Coney Island Hospital where they were regrettably pronounced deceased. As we said, this is a very active investigation. We ask anyone who may have information as to what transpired here to call our Crime Stoppers hotline at 800-577-TIPS. All your calls will be kept confidential. I can now take a few questions. So the best we can tell at this point, and again, it's preliminary, there is no indication of abuse or prior history of abuse or neglect of these children. Marla? Uh, did the mother say anything to the first responders that arrived? So at the time, she did not. She is in the station house. Um, detectives are attempting to speak with her at this moment, but th so far, she has not said anything. Uh, Rocco? Chief, what incident early in the night led relatives, including the dad, to believe that she maybe had harmed the kids? I believe that she had called them and made statements to them to that effect. And the reason why is the point is, is that clear? That's all, all subject to the investigation. Anybody else? Can you refer to the no. nationality of the family? Uh, to the nationality of the family? No. Can you talk about the status of the mother when you found her? There was, what, she was barefoot. What condition was she in? So the mother was soaking wet. Um, whether she had been out in the rain or, or whether she had been in the water, again, is all speculative at this point. Uh, she was wet, she was barefoot, um, and, and she was not um, communicative to the officers. Right, one more, Rocco, one more. Chief, any, uh, any witnesses, and did it happen here, or did she walk that way? So right now we are looking for witnesses. We don't know exactly what happened here yet, Rocco. We're going to try to piece this all together. We know that the children are found here. Um, officers retrieve them from the shoreline, uh, attempt to revive them, which ultimately fails, and we know that she's found two miles away. Um, what we need to put together is what happened in the, before and then in the in-between. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She is at the station house. She's not in custody at this point. She is at the station house. Thank you very much, guys.